where M represents the gradient and C represents the y-intercept. When I talk of y-intercept, it is where the line crosses the y-axis. So you can also add this down, where M represents the gradient and C represents the y-intercept. So it is the easiest to remember. So we're going to look at the following examples. How we use that equation to find the gradient of a line. So the question would be find the gradient of these lines. So the first line would be y equals to 4x plus 2. So that is equation of a line. So what you need to do, just compare this equation with the general form of equation. Our general form of, of equation is y equals to mx plus c. And we say that letter M represents the gradient. Or you can simply look for the number in front of x. We call it coefficient of x. So when you compare these two equations, you will see that 4 represents M. Therefore, your gradient equals to 4. As simple as that. So you just need to use your eyes. M is the coefficient of x. Coefficient of x means the number in front of x. And take note, you need to make y the subject of the formula first. You can see from the equation, we have one y. So at times, for example, they can talk of 2y equals to 10x plus 5. So at this point, you are wrong to say that the, the gradient is 10 because what you have here is 2y, but it should be 1y. So in this case, what you need to do, divide everything by coefficient of y. First, divide by 2, divide by 2, divide by 2. So that this 2 will cancel this. Now we have y equals to 5x plus 5 over 2. So from here, you'll be able to get your gradient as 5. So that is very, very important. So the second example, you can have y equals to negative 2 third x minus 3. So there still, just like we said, for you to get your gradient, just check the number in front of x. It can be a fraction, it can be a decimal. So in this case, if you compare this with the equation of a line mx plus c, you will see that m equals to negative 2 over 3. Therefore, your gradient is simply negative 2 thirds. As simple as that. So example C. So this now you need to be a little bit more careful. C now you have y equals to Five minus x. So you have to be more careful there now. Most students will rush to, to say that the gradient is 5. No. Please always consider the general form of equation. The gradient always given by m, the number in front of x. And take note here, please, negative x, the same as negative 1x. So in this case, upon you, just add one there, so that your gradient is now negative one. So that is very, very important. So don't make that mistake. Five is your C, the constant, when you compare this with the given equation. So we can also have Y equals to maybe two minus five X. 
In this case also, when you're told to find the graded place, don't rush for two. You are allowed, you can rewrite this as y equals to negative 5x plus 2. You're allowed so that you see your m clearly. But always going for the gradient place, check the number in front of x. So in this case, our gradient is negative 5. So now you know two methods on how to find the gradient. When you're given the coordinates, remember the formula. When you are given an equation, remember the general form of an equation. I hope that is very clear. So we are moving on to the next objective, that is finding the equation of a line given two points. So finding equation of a line given two points. So this is also very important to note, just like I said before, that the general form of equation of a straight line is given as y equals to mx plus c. So this is a very important formula when it comes to straight lines. So now we want to see how to find the equation of a line given two points. So another thing that you need to, to remember, please, for you to find the equation of a line, you must know the gradient of that line. Because the equation is given in this form, therefore we need to know the value of m and the value of c. That's why it is very important to know how to find the gradient of any given line. Okay? So you can put this down. To find the equation of a line, you must first find the gradient okay so to find the equation of a, a straight line that's very important you have to be specific we have different types of lines to find the equation of a straight line you must first find the gradient and you must also know at least one point. At least one point where the line passes through. Okay. So for this, take note for the last part. Knowing at least one point, that in that case, you will be given the gradient. So when you are given the gradient already, you don't need to know the two points. But when you're not given the gradient, and you're told to find the equation, you will be given the two points. So we shall look at this example. The first example in this case. So let's call it example one. So remember I said you have to have at least two points. So we have point A01 and let's say maybe point B310. So A and B are two points. And our question is find Find the equation of line A, B. That is the equation. So when I'm told to find the equation of a straight line, what should ring into your mind is the form of the equation. 
what should ring into your mind is this equation, y equals to mx plus c. So once you know this, you'll be able to know that you need, you need to have m and you also need to have c, where m is a gradient and c is a y-intercept. So means the first thing that you need to do is to find the gradient. Just like we said before, label the points. That's the first thing. X subscript 1, X, Y subscript 1, X subscript 2, and Y subscript 2. And write down the formula of getting the gradient. I insist, before you do any substitution, write this formula. It will not take you more than 10 seconds. So from that now, we have that 10 minus 1 over 3 minus 0. So that is 9 over 3, which gives us 3. So now we have the gradient 3. So gradient is, M, is our M. So from the equation here now, we've already known the value of M to be 3. So where does M substitute it with 3? So from this equation now, you'll have y equals to 3x plus c. So the next task is to how to find the value of c where the line crosses the y-axis. Remember, sometimes they'll give you the diagram where you will be able to see where the line crosses y-intercept. But in this case, when we're given the two points, it's upon you to find the value of c. And this is how 